What's up my ninjas? Today we're going to be talking about how to get leads and growing your service business in local Facebook groups. All right, so you're going to go find local Facebook groups, local buy, sell, and trade, just anywhere that is locally in your area or your service areas that you're providing, go find those groups and join them. Then you need to read all of the rules because some of them don't allow you to market your service business at all. And the last thing you want to do is go in there and start just creating enemies. Well, for example, one of my groups allows you to promote your service business on Tuesday and Thursday. So you need to respect the rules of the group and say, okay, well, if their rules are Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to do Tuesday and Thursday. I have a reminder on my phone when I can post on each group because I want to be known as the guy in the group, the landscaper in the group. Now, when doing this, you do not want to post it from your personal name to the group. What you want to do is you want to post everything through your Facebook business page. Then share the post from the Facebook business page to the local Facebook group. That way, if they have if they're interested or if they want to know more information instead of asking you a million questions they can just oh that's such and such lawn care posted that he shared okay well let's click on such and such lawn care oh here's all his contact information here's all his reviews here's all everything Con content he's made everything you need is on your business page so don't share any of your content or any of your before and after pictures or whatever you're going to put in the group only share your Facebook page don't do it from your personal account now when posting your content whether it be video written or picture or I prefer all of the above what you don't want to do is be salesy you don't want to always be oh 50% off this spend money with me spend you know just money 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 spend money with me sales 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 that's not how you build a relationship on the internet. Picture it like a date. If you were to go on a first date with a girl, would the first thing you say to her is money, 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 money? Or would you figure out what she's interested in? Would you try to provide value to her? So think about establishing a relationship like that. So don't come off salesy. Come off as providing value value giving information educating and entertaining and at the very end of it when you want to say and just call 601 don't do it only educate and only entertain and then after you provide the quality content the salesy just makes it not as good so we're gonna provide quality content in the Facebook group. We're also gonna find a couple businesses to recommend that we know do good work. Now this is gonna be a couple good reasons why you should do this. First off, if you get almost like a team in the group, say you got a, I got a mechanic and a car washer and something else. But anyway, what'll happen is somebody will come in the group and because I'm always recommending them, say I didn't say see in the post that someone was looking for a landscaper. Well, because I'm always recommending them, they may see it and then start recommending me. So it's almost like a, a recommending friendship thing. So you get a couple businesses and you start promoting them and don't ask for anything. Just start saying, you know what? This guy fixes cars this girl washes cars you know like and every time you see that and then naturally they're gonna see you doing it and they're gonna start doing it to you now I wouldn't promote anybody that you know doesn't do good work or anything like that but you know kind of the the helping other guys promoting 
really helps us out and it's almost like you got like a small marketing team in the group also don't repeat the same post because then it'll come repetitive and salesy even if it's not and then also if you get some work from somebody in the group when you've done the work they're happy when you're saying okay will you give us a nice well-worded five-star review on our website and Facebook also say would you say something nice in the group would you say that you know hey we came we did the job and you're happy maybe post a picture because not only is that gonna market for you it's just more times you're on the feed not by you anybody's gonna sell their own business everybody's gonna talk up their own business but when you got your customers recommending you in these Facebook groups or a customer recommending you in these Facebook groups it does, it comes off more trusting because they're not you of course you're gonna sell your business they're not so the fact they're saying it, it just makes you more genuine but don't sleep on these Facebook groups let me tell you they can create so much revenue for basically no money whatever time you got to put into your content but what you're shooting for what you want is you want raving fans you want to put in work you want to create good content you want to not be salesy you want to follow all the rules because you want to create raving fans in the group and if you can do that you won't even have to market for yourself because people naturally want to help other people people naturally want to give someone the answers to something so if you've created value got some raving fans in the group people will naturally naturally just start recommending you and then when you get on a news feed where they say hey I'm looking for a landscaper and they say uh, mr. Smith uh, Tom Dick and Harry and then you see Lawn ninja, lawn ninja, lawn ninja, lawn ninja, lawn ninja, lawn ninja. Who do you think they're going to pick? Y'all don't sleep on them Facebook groups and go out there and kill it. <laughs>